November 27th, early in the morning, just about 8 a.m. here today. We are headed into our off-grid cabin on beautiful Grand Lake in western Newfoundland. Uh, my goal of this trip is to get one rabbit or one grouse, whatever comes, just the one. I just want one. We are headed in overnight to do some minor renovations, uh, some scouting, and just overall have a good time, have some grub, and spend some time into the cabin overnight while we can. So I'll take you guys along, uh, enjoy the trip. So we made it to the cabin. Um, we're just gonna get settled in now, start a fire, and uh, probably have a bite to eat, and now uh, let you know it's time to go down. I mean, you can eat them raw like they are, right? Pepperoni. Molasses cake or something. It's good. <laughs> Real good. Debbie, you know what you're doing. Getting ready to go now. Just going to take the head mount and throw it there. Easy access if I see something. So grandfather's gassing up the quad for me. God love him. Uh, I'm checking the kettle. Just about out of rolling boil. I'm just going to take a a mug of hot tea with me um you know i don't mind getting a little cold because i'm only going about eight kilometers away um on those cutovers where i see the grouse too but uh it's nice to have a warm cabin come back to so it settles my mind a bit um now about the helmet i don't have one with me didn't plan on going on quad so i didn't bring one but in newfoundland you don't legally need one if you're going under 20 or 25 again i don't know what one it is um i believe it's 25 but uh i'm gonna keep her under 20 just to be safe and I talked to Game Wars before. They said they're pretty lenient with it. Um, they said, basically, just don't go being an idiot. And, uh, you know, we're not out here speed gunning you. So they said, just be respectful and we'll have no issue. So that's perfect. Um, you know, I'd be safe anyway. You guys know that if you follow along the channel. I go very slow anyway. And uh, it's not oftentimes I'd be going above 20 or 25 when I'm hunting. I like to pick my way along and look in the windows through the trees and take my sweet time. So... Coming along here at the Moose Pinch, I uh, seen in a previous video. No one's ever gonna tell me we don't have wolves on this island. Looking back at this now, I didn't look at it real, real well in the moment. I was kind of looking around. I just saw a big track, what I thought was a coyote or a wolf. I actually think it might have been lynx tracks, so I apologize. I can't really tell from the video, but I think it may have been a lynx. I know for a fact I've seen a couple as well. Like, we seen one. Um, we thought it was a caribou, it was that big. Uh, no one's ever gonna tell me that there's not wolves here, because there is. I ain't got no food, guys. <laughs> no food. sign in here today a lot of people in here as well i think what i showed you earlier may have been a lynx track i wasn't looking that hard but uh that's definitely a coyote and that is a big dog so it was right here exactly um i was in with my buddy dominic two days ago and uh we seen two grapes right here i'll circle where they were um these young cutovers not young cutovers uh young growth old cutovers <laughs> They must just be living in the patches of trees around them. Like, look where I'm at. Top of Grand Lake. And just in the road there is where I shot one uh, in my last moose hunting video. 
So what I'm going to do after I go into the end of the road and back is I'm just going to walk up into the patch of woods uh, where them grouse flew and see if I can find a roost or something. So we're just parked now where I did see those grouse. And I'm just going to walk in the nearest patch of timber here. It's like a buffer zone. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to walk up through, see if I can drive anything or see if I can see one. And then I got a couple other spots in mind before we head back to the cabins. Okay, I walked around on the upper side of the road. And I walked around on the lower side of the road for, I don't know, 10 minutes each. I can kind of clear this whole buffer zone by just going down straight through the middle. So I didn't see anything on either one. So I'm going to come back someday around 3 o'clock, the same time I've seen them birds all the other times and just see if they happen to be out again. And it'd be interesting to see if they're in this general area again, or if they've moved somewhere else along this dirt road. So I'm just taking some back roads now that uh, people aren't getting to with their vehicles, like their, uh, their trucks and their SUVs. And uh, there's a lot of predator tracks. Pretty sure that's Lynx. I don't see no claw marks and it's very circular. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's Lynx. Actually, I'll give you a good look at it or what's there i'm pretty confident that that's links but uh i've driven about 16 kilometers worth um oh sorry i will have driven that i've driven probably 10 now i still gotta go back to the cabin that's what i'm doing now i'm on my way back uh not one rabbit not one grouse talking to a couple other people and they haven't seen much either um there's a lot of traffic in here that's why i try to get off the main trail or main roads but um yeah i just wanted to show you guys what a glassing point I got here. And I'm fairly certain I do see a moose right there. But uh, I haven't got my binoculars. I left them in the truck. Well, guys, I found some of these before. I think this might be the biggest moose one I've ever found. What a beauty moose antler shed. Beauty, beauty. I'll pick it up there now in a second and uh i'll pick it up there now in a second and have a look but it's nice um i wonder what's going on here is that just like normal color pee because that looks like blood to me that's from a rabbit so i don't know <laughs> it's fresh you know that looks like a Blood to me. I don't know. Let me know what that is, if that's normal for rabbits to have that color blood. But uh, I'm going to pick up this here shed now. And uh, let's have a look. Man, what a nice animal that would have been. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would have been a nice animal before he got uh, chewed on and all that. Looks like he even might have had another point there chewed off. But that's real nice. Uh, unfortunately here in newfoundland you need a permit for those so uh that has to stay where it lies <laughs> i'm taking 22. <laughs> all right guys we're getting ready to uh go walk a trail it's about three o'clock now if not like 245 or something like that uh, yep, me and grandfather, he's going to take single shot 22. I'm going to take the single shot 16 gauge. We're going to go walk a trail or a couple roads, had a lot of rabbits on, and see what we can find. Let's go. Yeah, I'll try to come back to the road now. Ditch in between us? Okay. There's a lot of tracks in here. So I'm not necessarily following the tracks, but uh, we're just running in here off the side of the road. Both sides are like beat down with tracks. So just hoping to catch one. Yeah, real fresh ones. Okay. Looks like it might be in between us. 
I'm not sure. But there is some real fresh stuff. Yeah, because some of these tracks are real fresh. Some not so much, but there is a couple. This is relatively fresh. So it's worth a follow. Well, where did he go? Okay, well, guide me towards you. Guide me towards it. Okay, I'll come over. How white was it? What? Uh, in between us? Yeah. I got him. Nice, 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 nice. He stayed in that little clump of woods. Yeah, I just seen in there. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just about drove him towards you. That's okay. No, I knew you wouldn't gonna hit me. You were shooting at the ground, so that's fine. Oh, no. No, I know, I wouldn't let you take one. <laughs> I have my gun cocked, so now I gotta uncock it. You can uncock it? No, I will. He's not even white. Not, not 100%, no. Holy. Not, just hold it on. Okay, well, my gun's cocked. I gotta uncock that in a second there. there no, you did. Go on. <laughs> right in there. Ah, oh, that's good. Hey. <laughs> well, you drove into me. Well, no, I thought I'd seen that one over there. No, you drove him this way. Yeah, I drove him back to you. And he was right there in between us, but. Yeah. but when I was coming over there, I, I don't know what big tree. I think it was this one here. <laughs> and uh, anyway, no. we'll just keep going out that way. Yeah, okay. And then down to the He's not white, though. No, far from There's a young one, too, but. Well, yeah, but he's still nice on right? Yeah, it's just still a meal. Or a couple meals. Yeah. A lot of tracks here. Well, that worked pretty well. It did. Uh, there's a fresh track going your way. It was fresh, babe. That might have been him. <laughs> no. I'll double back to my right a bit then. Yeah. That didn't work out bad. I ended up right at the parking lot. Here, look. That, that's fresh, isn't it? With the, the berries showing and everything. fresh, yeah. Yeah, he's going this way. Yeah. But the branch is here. That one's half fresh too. Well, no, that one come this way. Yep. This used to work, and when there's a lot of snow down. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. Well, the tracks is right here. Seen them up close to the road. Yeah, around that other road. Well, that's where we're gonna go, yeah. The whole yeah, the 22 did the damage on them. That must be the exit, is it? No. Not? Oh, no. might be. Yeah, it gotta be, by. Yeah, like, look, I just got it out of the truck. That's crazy. What? Yep. Okay. Look at this. It's all fresh here too. Where are you two? Okay. Wow. It's a trail that goes right on down here. Yeah. Let's see to me. This looks very fresh. I got a track here, like, very fresh, like we probably just spooked. Cut. You stay there, I'll go up a bit. Ooh. Ooh.
Whew. Okay. Let's go back and do this one. Or right, I saw it, I mean. Go back to here, huh? See, none of these are super fresh. Maybe a couple of them. But uh, they're still around here somewhere. I've had a lot of success doing this even when I don't see any tracks. Just going in the woods and you'll find them. You will find them. I don't even know how you would set snares in here. Oh, no problem set snares in here. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to find them, man. The There's too many leads. Yeah. Everywhere you look is a lead. Yeah. Oh. Yep. He's just chilling there. No. Yeah, just try not to make too much noise here now. Oh, he's gone. Well, woo! Some gotta win. Oh, he just moved. Oh, no, he's standing up right there. Oh, yeah. What is it? I don't know. It's cow, I think. Five sixteen, we're uh just getting back to the cabin here. I tell you, it's so nice to walk into a warm cabin. I'm having me some jam toast. It's the same good taste? No, yeah, but they'll still taste fine. Oh, yeah. Crazy, they're from the same pond, but they all, they're all different. These ones here look friggin' Ah. Mm. <laughs> what? Never mind. That's mackerel. Yeah? <laughs> I thought it was some pitiful looking trout. No, it's mackerel. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm not eating that. That's some of your... Uh... Yeah. No, nope, but this from same pond though, and different color. I've never done a little cabin tour, so there you go. Room on the left. This is where I like to sleep, out of the way, can't hear grandfather snoring, get a good breeze from the window, this is where I sleeps. Room on the right. This is where grandfather sleeps. If for some reason you want him, you know where to find him. Comfy room. Next room, upstairs, just recently renovated. Just got some old sheets thrown on there uh, for now. Nobody really uses this room. But uh, I'm probably going to start using a big bed I can stretch out on. I'm a taller guy. Um, but it's pretty hot up there too. Pretty comfortable. So uh, it's a pretty cozy room. Next one we got the crapper. Every man needs this. You get the shower air. You can take a hot shower. Uh, you get the toilet inside so you don't have to go outside. How you doing? Well guys. Time to get settled away here now. I'm going to uh, hit the bunk and uh, pick it back up tomorrow morning when uh, we wake up, have some breakfast. Uh, we are heading back tomorrow uh, home. So hopefully we'll do a bit of hunting on the way out. So gonna get some shut eye and uh, see you tomorrow. So morning time here just before 9 a.m. 
she's a blowing. Last night you could uh, you could feel the cabin shake every now and then. She's going. Windy and rainy and what a storm. It was it was awesome to sleep in though, for the time I did sleep. But we're gonna drive out in this now.